Beneath the surface of the picturesque Yellowstone National Park, filled with an abundance of geysers and hot springs, lies an enormous magma chamber. According to an analysis of earthquake data eight years ago, the magma chamber is 80 kilometers, 50 miles, long and 20 kilometers, 12 miles wide. Three previous eruptions have formed a caldera, a large volcanic crater formed after the emptying of a magma chamber. This measures some 70 kilometers, 43 miles, by 45 kilometers, 28 miles. The three super eruptions occurred 2.1 million, 1.3 million and approximately 640,000 years ago. Though Yellowstone is due an eruption, based on the timeline of previous eruptions, scientists believe the proportion of molten rock in the magma chamber is far too low to allow for another super eruption, the last of which dwarfs anything seen in the modern day. The eruption 640,000 years ago was believed to have been 1,000 times bigger than the devastating eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. The Mount St. Helens eruption in Washington state killed about 57 people and reduced hundreds of square miles to wasteland, causing over $1 billion, 737 million pounds, in damage, equivalent to $3.5 billion or 2.5 billion pounds in today's money. Supervolcanoes are defined by eruptions of a volcanic explosivity index VEI, of 8, the largest recorded value on the index. Mount St. Helens had a VEI of 5. Eruptions occur when magma in the mantle rises, but is unable to break through it. Pressure continues to build in a large and constantly growing magma pool until the crust is no longer able to contain the pressure. These eruptions can occur at hot spots, such as Yellowstone, or at subduction zones, notably Toba in Indonesia. The 2004 Naked Science documentary, Super Volcanoes, explored how a Yellowstone eruption would affect the world, and the impact it would have on the United States in particular. The blast itself would be enormous, but nothing compared to what would follow. The documentary's narrator said, Spreading out from Yellowstone would come one of nature's most deadly forces, violent, deadly clouds of rock, ash and gas called pyroclastic flows, 